Today I'm having a look at Small Rig's new heavy duty video tripod. And although this tripod has all the features and functions you would expect from a video tripod, probably the most outstanding thing about it is the price. And this is something we've seen from Small Rig over the years, which is where they just take an established product, they make it to the highest possible quality, but then they keep the price at sort of a quarter of what you would pay for sort of another professional video tripod. And the first thing you notice when you take it out of the box is it comes with a good quality bag. And this is something that you often don't get with even much, much more premium tripods. So it is nice that it comes with a bag. It's a well padded bag and it provides good protection for the tripod. And when you take the tripod out, you are going to discover that there's an additional protective bag on the video head, which is pretty cool. Once again, unexpected for a tripod at this price point. Once you've got it out of the bag, the tripod is locked in place with three little mechanisms, three little latches that latch all the legs together. That means when you're carrying it around, it's not going to flop or come apart. And if you set that on the ground and you flip all the different locking mechanisms for the legs, you're gonna be able to pull this thing up and it's gonna just extend to its full length effectively. The height of this tripod at its lowest, it's 33 inches and at its highest, it is 73 inches. In addition to that, you are going to have an eight kilogram or 17 pound load capacity. And that is true regardless of how far you've got the legs extended. Now, the higher you put it, the less stable it is. It does become a little bit less stable when you're down to the single legs at the bottom. So I think if you don't need that extra height, then I think it actually is most stable at this setup at this point where it's got the double legs on each side. Now, once you've got the legs extended, the next thing you're gonna notice is you have a leveling head here. This is called a bowl head, and essentially the fluid tripod head just sits in a bowl and it allows you to level it when you're on, on uneven ground. And right now I am on uneven ground. I've got a little bubble level right there. I just get that bubble level in the center of frame or in the center of the bubble, and then I just tighten that up. Now I have the tripod head leveled, even though the legs aren't level. It means I don't have to go adjust individual legs to get everything level. Now, in addition to that, this is a fluid head. So you have the ability to sort of pan and tilt in a fluid manner. The one thing I have noticed is that when you do that, you do get a bit of twist in the tripod. So I don't know if these just need to be tightened up, but this is the way it came from the factory. And I do have a little bit of play there, which I don't think is ideal. The other thing I will mention is that it, it is, even though it's a heavy duty tripod, it's not a heavy tripod to carry around, which is nice and light if you're going in and out of events. But if you're in a situation where you've got a sort of a lightweight camera, you don't have a whole lot of weight on the tripod itself, it is a little bit less stable than a tripod that is extremely heavy. Now the fluid head itself is reasonably good for the price. I'm actually surprised at how well it performs given that even a sort of a basic fluid head like this, you're up for $160, $170 on its own, and you're getting this one with the whole tripod. You do have control of the tension or you can lock the axes. So right there, I've just turned this knob and that has just locked my tilt axes. So I can pan, but I cannot tilt. And then I've got a latch here so I can latch both of them off. Now I can leave that latch obviously, and I can loosen. And now I just have my tilt access. And the, the, uh, the quick release plate actually comes off from the side. It doesn't slide in from the front like a typical release plate. That actually makes it quite easy. So I push that down, now that's locked in, and now that can't come off. If I slide it forward or back, it isn't coming off. I've got the little knob here to lock it down, but the key is before you lock it down, you put your camera on there, and this ability to slide just allows you to find the right balance point where your camera is evenly balanced. This makes the quick release function actually work a little bit better. So when you have it balanced like this, it means that your sort of up and down motion is going to be relatively even or relatively fluid because you have your center of gravity perfectly balanced over the top of the tripod. So for me, the biggest question about this tripod is who is it for? And I think if you are doing paid work and you need a number of tripods which aren't too heavy to carry around and you are going to be setting them up in fixed positions and you are not going to be making use of the fluid head, it's just gonna be set up and left there, I think this is a perfectly suitable tripod for those people. 
If you do need to use the fluid head and you do need maximum performance out of a fluid head, then I don't think this is for you. I do think it is great for churches. I think it's good for nonprofit organizations. I think it's great for somebody who is doing video, wants a video tripod, but is not generating any income yet. This is a very inexpensive way to get a tripod, which has all the functionality of a thousand dollar tripod without quite the performance or build quality. I've just shown a video on screen now. This is the best photography tripod that I know about under $100. And if you don't need that video head or that video functionality, that could be the perfect tripod for you.